The cross is giving people near the Chetco Bar Fire a place to stay if they've had to leave their homes. It got into town to set up an emergency shelter six days ago. So far, it's served more than a thousand meals. We're bringing you team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Kate McKenna is tracking the wind conditions and air quality. But first, we go to Newswatch 12's Emma Balkenbush, who's live in Gold Beach at the elementary school that's serving as a shelter for evacuees. I'm here right now at Riley Elementary School in Gold Beach, which has been transformed into a place for any evacuees to come to. The Red Cross's shelter first location was at the Brookings Harbor High School until fire crews had it moved to this location to put a little bit of space between that location and the fire fight. And about two, a level two evacuation orders are still under for some people in Brookings, and about 900 people are still under level three evacu evacuation orders. The Red Cross says it wants those people to know it is here if they aren't sure where to go. So far, it's had more than 140 overnight stays. Volunteers are working to adapt to the moving fire and to help as many people as possible. The Red Cross is an adaptable organization. We work around the needs of a disaster. Our volunteers, they are adaptable and work around the needs of the individuals we're helping in the shelter. So we want to be dynamic and, and accessible to whatever needs there are for the people that we're helping. Right now, school here in Gold Beach is pushed back a week, and the shelter says it's putting together plans just in case it needs to stay open through the start of that school year. And if you are interested in coming out here and volunteering and helping with the Red Cross, there will be two community meetings. Both of those are happening at 11 a.m. One is tomorrow and one is Saturday, and those are both at the Gold Beach City Hall. And you can also find that information on our website, kdrv.com. Live in Brookings, Emma Balk.